Hello, my name is Cameron Popal and today I'm going to show you on Dr. Sadaf how a cerebellar examination is done. So we've got three parts in this examination. One part will be done in sitting position, one part will be done in a standing position and one part will be done in a lying position. So now I'm going to perform it on Dr. Sadaf and she'll be giving us some positive findings as well in this examination. So let's go and see what, uh, how she presents. Hello. Hello. My name is Cameron. I'm one of the junior doctors in this department. Today we're going to perform uh, a cerebellar examination on you. Is that alright? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Uh, during this uh, examination, I'll be asking you to do a few tests for me. Is that alright? Okay. So the first thing that I would ask you to do is to say British Constitution. British Constitution. Okay, thank you very much. I can appreciate that my patient has scanning speech. Can you also now take your finger, touch it with your nose, the tip of your nose, mm -hmm. and then touch the tip of your finger with my finger. Mm -hmm. Can you do that? Yeah. Again, okay, again, okay, thank you very much. I can appreciate that my patient has passed pointing in the finger nose test. All right, so now what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to follow my movements. All right, can you do this? Can you do it faster? Okay, that's all right. Can you please do it with the other hand now? Can you do it faster? Okay, that's perfectly fine. Thank you very much. I could appreciate that my patient had dystiacal kinesia when she did it with her right hand. Thank you very much. The last thing that I'm going to ask you to do while we're sitting is to follow my finger. Do not move your head, just follow my finger with your eyes, all right? Okay, thank you very much. So there's no horizontal or vertical nystagmus in my patient. Thank you so much. Now I'd be performing a couple of tests while you're standing, okay? All right, so Sadaf, now what I'd ask you to do is to look at a point right in front of you, all right? Put your hands on your chest like that, all right? And close your eyes. I'll be on your side if you fall. Okay, you can open your eyes now, that's fine, thank you very much. So the Romberg test is negative in our patient. What we would like to do, uh, her to do now is to do a test called the marching test. I just want you to follow my movements, so put your hands straight up like that, alright, and start marching. Okay, I'll come by your side, alright, and now can you please close your eyes. Okay, that's fine, you can open your eyes now, that's fine. So... Marching test is positive in my patient. Thank you very much. So that, can you please now walk to, so that I can check your gait, all right? So can you please walk and I'll support you? Okay, that's fine, you can relax now. That's fine, the gait is normal in my patient. All right, so now what I would ask you to do is call a thing called the tandem walking. Do not do it till I ask you to. So what's done in this walk is that you have to walk with your heels touching your toes in a straight line like this, all right? So I want you to walk in a straight line with your heels touching your toes and I'll support you if you fall. Okay, that's fine. My patient's, a patient is a bit unbalanced on tandem walking, uh, so that's another positive sign for cerebellar examination. Now we would be performing some tests while the patient is lying down. Alright, so what I ask you to do now is to touch your heel with the opposite knee and slide it down to your ankle. Am I clear? Okay, so can you please show me by doing that? Okay. That's fine. Okay. Can you please do it with your other leg? All right. 
Okay. Thank you very much. That's fine. So, we could appreciate that the heel knee shin test was abnormal when Sadaf did it on the right side. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, your uh, examination. And now, this is a cerebellar examination. And I hope you liked and enjoyed it. Just remember, there are three parts to it. Sitting, standing and lying. Um, and it's quite straightforward. Uh, about the standing tests, just make sure that if the Romberg test is positive, you do not go on doing the marching test. And if the gait is antaldic, you do not go on doing the tandem walking. Considering Sadaf did not give me a positive for Romberg's test, I did do the next test, which is the marching test. And she also gave me a normal gait, and hence I went on to doing the next step, which was tandem walking. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned from it. Thank you very much.